Looking back at fiscal 2016, I'd have to say that Corby's financial performance reflects a company positioning itself for sustainable long-term growth. Revenues were up 6% overall, and net earnings rose by 25%, largely due to higher commission rates negotiated on sales of Pernod Ricard brands in Canada and improved efficiency in our marketing spend in the US market. While overall shipments of Corby-owned brands were lower year over year, we sold more cases of the Pernod Ricard brands we represent, which are weighted in high growth categories. Global brands like Absolute Vodka, Jameson Iris Whiskey, and Jacobs Creek Wines all showed stellar performance. Going forward, we'll continue to focus on maximizing the benefits of our relationship with Pernod Ricard and revitalizing Corby-owned brands to win in key domestic battlegrounds. Innovation was, and is, another important part of our story in 2016. Performance of Corby brands launched in the last two years showed good growth. Most notably, JP Weiser's Double Steel Rye, Pike Creek, Lot No. 40 and Good & Wards Canadian Whiskies, along with Polarized 90 North Vodka. Despite challenging Canadian market conditions, we proved that opportunities exist for well-marketed brands and new innovations. That's why we will continue to invest in those products that drive the most value for our shareholders. Other steps taken in 2016 to secure our future included our ongoing focus on establishing a solid growth platform in the profitable but highly competitive US market with our premium Canadian craft whiskey range and our important new partnerships established in the UK. All in all, our core business proved once again to be profitable, cash generative and tool for success. It's what gave us the latitude to pursue the acquisition of Domain Pinnacle Spirits brands post year end. And it is what enables us to deliver ever greater value for our investors.